Greetings, greetings, fellow great tens. It's Mr. Chacho again. Look, now welcome to another video. What we are looking at basically today, we are looking at our number pattern, right? So we are trying to find out, or we are trying to understand in terms of how do we go about uh, answering our, you know, number patterns, right? And these are our arithmetic pattern. Now, let's see. Now, they are saying now, firstly, the first one, you are given this pattern, 6, 15, 24, uh, and what? And also 33, right? Now, what is the first thing that you're going to do? The first question require you to determine the next three term. Now, for you to determine the next three term, there is one thing that you need to do is that you need to find out what is firstly the common difference from these particular term, right? So which means you're going to say now from here, this is going to be T2 subtract T1, T3 subtract T2, and T4 subtract T3, right? T3, I mean. Right. So that is what you are going to do. And now if you can check when you say uh, 15 subtract this, you are going to get nine at uh, 24 subtract 15. You are still getting nine and also 33 subtract 24. You are still getting nine. Right. So which means what is happening basically from this particular pattern is that it is increasing at a rate of what of nine. So which means now for you to get the next one, it's going to be same as what it's going to be same as 33 plus nine which is going to give you what which is going to give you 42 similarly now uh what else now you are going to do from here is uh you are going to say now nine uh, i mean 42 again you are adding nine from there you are getting what 51 and from 51 when you are adding nine again you're going to get what you are going to get 60 so basically that is going to be uh the next three terms from this particular thing right now that is going to be your a now let's look at number b in number b they say now write down uh uh, the conjecture about these particular thing right so basically now what they want you to do, uh, to write here is to write down in terms of uh what is happening uh what is happening from this particular pattern and as you can observe look for you to get 15 moving from six you added what you added nine right so which means now what you are uh, doing basically is from here uh, we are writing this particular pattern basically inwards. So you are adding nine to previous term to get the next term, right? So we are adding nine uh, to previous term uh, to get the next term, right? To get uh, to get the next term. Uh, so basically that's what uh, we are doing here, right? So basically that's going to be uh, what we are doing inwards. Now see, they say now, uh, determine the formula for this pattern. Now, how can we determine the formula here? Let's get our nicer color there. Now, how can we determine our formula? Let's start here. Now, remember we said for us to get uh, to determine or rather for us to, uh, you know, to write down the formula. What is the first thing that you are going to do? You are going to say now, look, uh, now for your C. Remember, it is given by Tn is equals to A plus uh, into bracket n subtract one close bracket d right so this is the most preferred formula that i want us to get used to it right now we are going to start here now what is the a remember we said the a represent our first letter right or rather our first uh number right so which means this is going to be our first term so this is going to be six plus open bracket n subtract one and what is going to be the d d stands for the difference so our difference here it's nine isn't it so so this is going to be same as 6 plus 9n subtract 9, right? And now when we move from there, what else now then are we, we are going to do from here to find out this particular pattern? We are going to say, look, our tn therefore is going to be given by what? It's going to be given by 9n. And then when you say uh, now negative 9 plus 6, that's going to give you negative 3. Sharp. Then that is going to be that particular uh, pattern that you are having there. And now if you can look at d. They say, uh, will the term in the pattern always be a multiple of three? Now, why do you think so? Firstly, now uh, let's see in terms of what is it that you're having. So look, now if you can check here, the first uh the first number that you are having, uh, it is what it is six, right? And now from this six, you are adding nine. And both six and the nine are the multiples of what? Are the multiples of three. And when you are adding here, which means now whatever that you are creating or whatever pattern that you are going to form, it will indeed be in a position to be uh, what? To be divisible by what? To be divisible by uh, three, which means it's going to be the multiple of three, right? 
Now, so which means now the best way that we can write O are what we can write basically now for our D. Let's write here. We are going to say yes, uh, there will be because now look, uh, the pattern formula is always multiplied by three, right? It is always multiplied by three, right? Which means we can uh uh, firstly, if you can do that, you can take out three as a common factor from them. Now, if you can look at this one, uh, if you can come back here, look, this is the same as Tn is equals to, you can take out the three. And what left? what is it that you're going to be left with? You are left with 3n subtract one. Can you see that this is always going to be multiplied by three? And therefore, if this is always going to be multiplied by three, then indeed, this is going to have the what? It's going to always have the multiple of three. So this is going to be yes. Ah, uh, now there will be, ah, uh, now this is going to be, yes, there will be. A and now what is going to be the reason for that? Ah, uh, now we are going to say, look, because now, if you look at this pattern, because uh, now the uh, pattern formula, right, which is our pattern, the pattern formula uh, for ours, what, hap what is happening uh, is also multiplied by three, is also multiplied uh, multiplied by three right and, and now this is the one that i was showing now here that if you can take out here three as a common factor you're still multiplying everything with three so therefore this is going to be indeed a multiple of three right so that's basically what we are going to do there now let's look at our, our number two and see in terms of what is it that you are given in number two now let's just try and make up some space here so that we can now come back and understand our number uh this one our number three two now, what is it that we are, are given in number two? Let's see. Now, in number two, let's start here. Number two, basically, they say, given that you are having 12, you are having 12, you are having seven, you are having two, you are having negative three, right? Now, uh, now, what is it that you are going to do here? The first thing they say, determine the next three terms. So, which means they want you to find out what will be the next consecutive three terms, right? The next consecutive three terms and what will therefore be the next consecutive three term this is 12 this is seven this is two this is negative three now are uh, the next following thing that you are going to have here now we are going to start by looking for what we are going to look for the difference and the difference is going to be seven subtract 12 which is going to be what uh this one is going to be same as uh minus five i think yes this is going to be given by minus 5. Similarly, this is going to be minus 5. When you say 2 subtract 7, it's minus 5. When you say now look negative 3 minus uh, 2, it's going to also give you negative 5. Which means this particular pattern, basically, it is decreasing by what? Uh, by negative 5. So therefore, what else can we do now from here? Now, what we are going to do basically here, we are going to start here. So now for you to get the next consecutive, uh, consecutive three term, you're going to say this is minus five. Then when you uh, move from here, uh, this is going to be same as negative eight, right? And from there, this is going to be same as if you are having negative five here, this is going to give you negative 13. And if you are having that again here, negative five, this is going to give you what? Negative 18, right? So that is going to be that particular uh, thing, right? And now from there, uh, let's look at the uh, our B. Now B again is say write down uh, the conjecture about the pattern. So basically, we are saying here we are writing it in weights, right? So the this is B. So now, uh, what is it that you are going to uh to do now? We are going to subtract uh five from uh what previous term to get the next term, right? So that's basically what we are doing. So we are saying here we are subtracting, uh, we are subtracting what we subtract five. Uh, from previous term uh, from previous term to get the next term <clears throat> to get the next term uh to get the next term right so basically that's what we are doing are we together so now that's going to be what we are basically doing for this one now uh and let's look at now our number c our number c they say determine the formula for the pattern you know what we do when we are determining our formula, isn't it so? We are using our formula Tn is equals to A plus into bracket N subtract 1 close bracket D. Then A represent what? The first term. What is the first term? It's this one. Difference negative 5, right? So this is going to be 12 plus into bracket N subtract 1. <clears throat> Sorry. Then this is going to be negative 5. And now from there, what is going to be this? This is going to be 12 and 
Uh, now from there, when you multiply with this one, this is going to give you negative. Uh, this is going to give you negative five, I think, right? Uh, this is going to be negative five N, negative five N, and then this other one is going to give you that. Let's just write it very properly from the get-go. Now this is going to be same as negative five N, and this is going to be plus five. So which means the pattern is going to be negative five N. When you say 12, uh, now 12 plus five, what is 12 plus 5? This is going to be 17. So this is going to be plus 17, right? So basically, that is going to be the, uh, the pattern. Now, D, let's look at number D in terms of what uh, is required of us there by D. Now, D, they say, now, what is the value of uh, the term uh, in the 10th position, right? What is the value of the term in the 10th position? Basically, this one, it's going to be very much straightforward. Now, uh so for for this one uh so now for us to find out in terms of what is going to be uh the they say what is going to be the value of the term in the 10th position so now uh from here what is it that you're going to do is we are going to come back here uh now you're going to say look in the 10th position we want uh uh what is that this is going to be same as this one so we are going to simply say t uh, T10 is going to be given by what? It's going to be given by negative 5 into 10 plus your what? Plus your 17. Then what is going to be that? Uh, now, for you to find that, uh, what is going to be the answer there? Let's see. So when you say uh, in here now 5, uh, let's see, this is going to be 5 into uh, 5. Uh, this is going to be 5. Then this is going to be negative 50, 50 plus that. So this is going to be negative 33. This is going to be negative 33, right? So now they say, is 10 part of the pattern? Uh, is negative 10 part of the pattern? Is negative 10 part of the pattern? Now, what is it that you are going to do to find out whether is negative 10 part of the pattern or not? Let's take this negative 10. Now, let's make up our space here. We are going to take this negative 10 uh, and put it in here. So, let's do it. Now, what you're going to do, we are going to say, look, negative 10 is equals to the pattern, which is what is the neg uh, the pattern that you are given? Negative 5 and plus 17. Sharp. And now, from here, what is it that you are going to get? You are going to say, now, when you are moving from here to this, this is negative 10 minus what? Uh, minus 17 is equal to negative what? 5n. And now from here, this is going to be negative. What? This is going to be uh, negative 27 is equals to negative 5n. Then you divide by negative 5. Then you divide by negative 5. Therefore, n is given by what? n is given by uh, this, which is, uh, this is going to be same as uh, 27, uh, 27 over 5. And now what answer are we going to give? Now we know that our n must always, our n must always uh, what uh, always be uh, what uh, it must always be a whole number therefore therefore you are going to say now look therefore 10 is not part of the pattern is not part of the pattern right so basically that's what you are going to say from that right is not going to be part of that pattern and then now i think that's far as all these questions are concerned hopefully you have you know gained some few things when it comes to this number pattern thank you very much